I'm Adrian Phillips. And I'm Max RC. Yeah, and I'm yeah. Cameron White. Ow! <laughs> and this is our cake project. I win. Ow! Now, if the camera knocked off 10 checkers pieces that had a radius of one half inch, what is the total area of the checkers pieces now touching the floor? The equation is great pi <laughs> radius squared. Now, <laughs> hi, my name is Adrian Phillips. Now, if the camera knocked off ten checkers pieces, of which they had a radius of one half inch, what is the area of the checkers pieces now touching the floor? The equation finding the area of a circle is pi times r squared and pi having a value of 3.14560 so <laughs> XRC now as we were saying if Cameron knocked 10 checkers pieces onto the ground each one with a radius of approximately one half inch. What is the total area of checkers pieces now on the ground? So, as we've already stated, the general equation for area of a circle is, yes, radius. So, the radius of this circle is one half inch. So, our equation now looks like this. Area equals pi times one half squared. So we know from simple arithmetic that one half squared equals one fourth and that pi is equal to approximately three point one four one five nine two six five four etc etc but that is not important. So area is equal to pi times one fourth. <clears throat> so the area of one circle or checkers piece is equal to zero point seven eight inches. But this is only the area of one checkers piece. We do not have one checkers piece. We have ten times one checkers piece, or ten checkers pieces. So, we take our answer of 0 0.78 and multiply it by ten, which is ten times one. We are then faced with 7.8 inches. And that is the answer to our problem. And now for something completely different. Ow! 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 Why? Why? Oh god! I hope my mom doesn't see this. Ow. Oh god! Where does it end? Ow.